Well, we have footage of mm-hmm. your um, of Brent, obviously. So could you just kind of like run me through it and tell me um, uh, a little bit about it and the main message and stuff like that? Rent is a, it started out as a theatrical piece, a rock opera based on the Puccini opera La Boheme. Um, but instead of taking place in Paris in the 1800s, it takes place in New York City in the ni- 1990s um, at a time this group of friends who were dealing with HIV, with drug issues, and also with really literally struggling to pay the rent. And it's the, against that backdrop that this story is told of this group of friends that comes together in the face of that and, and their trials and tribulations. And, uh, and it uses music in a very powerful way to tell that story. Okay, and what is the main message overall that the movie's trying to convey? Well, for me, um, among many messages, is the, it, it really talks about, given the fact that we don't know how much time we're going to have on this planet, what are you going to do with the time that you have? Who are you going to spend that time with? And what are you going to devote yourself to? And it, you know, through a series of incidents that happen to these characters, it really brings that message home, I think. Okay, uh, any favorite moments or best memories from doing the film? From doing the film, um, I mean, it was just a pleasure to come to work every day. I know that might sound cheesy, but it's just the truth. Uh, it, was ju- it, it was just such a, we were just so lucky to be in a position where we could do the film, know that it's going to be committed to this medium forever. Because <laughs> we had done the show, so six of us from the film had done the show, so we had that memory, we had that f- in our hearts, but now this is in, this can be seen, you know, 80, 100, 200 years from now. Um, so we were just really lucky for that. And then, so all, all along the way, every day was just, was really a joy. Okay. <laughs> uh, so about how long have you been here at TLU? Um, I, uh, this will be, I guess, my fourth, fourth day? Okay, could you just run me through, like, what, <laughs> if that's It's been a blur, <laughs> yeah, wow. <laughs> I shouldn't make you think too hard. No. Um, could you just, like, run me through what you've been doing these past couple of days as far as with students and stuff and interacting with them? Sure, I've been dropping in on various classes, a choir class and a musical theater class and a, um, uh, I think it's called uh, theatrical media? Or it's, it's got a, it had an unusual... Dramatic media. Dramatic media, sorry, dramatic media. Um, and some of it I've been watching their work and giving feedback. Some of it I've just been answering questions and talking about some sort of conceptual stuff or some of it, you know, talking about the history of of the work that I've done or of rent or you know any variety uh, depending on what is happening in any particular class I work within the context of that. My favorite stuff is really when I get to work hands-on with the students and give some coaching of some of some of the material that they're working on. All right and last question um, what's your best advice that you give students who want to do this for a living? It's a common question but go ahead. I mean among uh, there's a lot of different parts of the advice um, one of the things I really, when I'm working with them one-on-one on the material, I try to do as much as I can to encourage them to, to find the connections to it so that, they're, so that it has meaning for them. Because when it has meaning for them, then it'll have meaning for the audience. So if it's advice, it's to, to work as hard as they can to connect to the material that they're working on.